Friends, welcome. Thanks for taking a few minutes to be with me today in God's Word. Today I'm looking at John chapter 15, verse 5. These are the words of Jesus. He says, I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. And then he says this, for apart from me, you can do nothing. Today I want to talk about weakness. It's not a word that we like to think about, especially as it relates to us. But we have to admit, we all have weaknesses, don't we? And in our culture, and to a large degree in the world in general, we think of weaknesses as a bad thing. We think that if we're weak, then we're worthless. God looks at this very differently, though. And what he desires to see in us uh, are the very things that he talks about here in verse 5. He wants us to understand that as his children, the ability to go out and do the work that the Lord gives us is not based on our own strength, not based on what we can accomplish by our own abilities, but it's based on being connected with the vine, being connected with Jesus. And so there's nothing wrong with being strong, it's just that our Lord wants us to understand that the only real and lasting and true kind of strength that we can experience is the kind that we have in him. That's why he says, for apart from me, you can do nothing. That's also why Paul, as he writes his letters in the New Testament, will say that he, he boasts in his weaknesses because he came to realize that in his own frailty and in the realization that he could not accomplish anything in his own strength for God, that that is what made him open all the more to receive the power and strength of the Lord and to be used by him. All I'm saying to you here today is that if you consider yourself a weak person, a person who really doesn't seem to be able to accomplish much as far as what God would have you do, that makes you or puts you in the very best of places to be used by the Lord. I'm not suggesting that we go around tearing ourselves down and saying, woe is me, I'm worthless and I'm dreadful and God could never love me. Not at all. He loves us deeply. But we are saying that any kind of strength that we are going to make use of in the Christian life and the only kind that, frankly, we want to make use of is the strength that comes from Jesus. And his promise is that when we rely on his strength, as he says here, we will bear much fruit. We can work as hard as we want in our own strength and never bear any fruit for the kingdom of God. Wouldn't we rather be people who rely on his strength, recognizing our own weaknesses? And so maybe the place to pause here today is to do so by asking, Lord, I recognize that in and of myself, I cannot accomplish anything for you. Would you work through my weaknesses and accomplish mighty things? And so that is our prayer. Let us pray. Lord, we pray that you would do great and wonderful and mighty things through us and our weaknesses. Help us to recognize that in our own strength, we can accomplish nothing for your kingdom, but that as we remain connected to you, we will do those things that you ask of us. We praise you and we thank you for this, Jesus. We thank you above all that you willingly gave yourself for us. You became weak that we might be strong. And it's in your name, Jesus, that we pray. Amen. God bless you. Come again.